We're going to read from verse 13 so that you can have it in good context. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea, Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? He says, Who do they say I am? He's, he's asking his disciples. And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? He says, All right, uh, look at it. He's asking them, oh, whom do the, the people say I am? Okay, they said this, 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 and this. He said, but what about you? Who am I to you? In verse 16, And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ. I want you to notice, thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, And upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Peter didn't give Jesus a revelation. The question was, who am I? Peter says, you're the Christ. The son of the living God. And Jesus says, I say to you, you are Peter. Peter is also a rock. But Peter is a, a small rock that's founded on a larger rock. Did you ever did you ever dash your foot against a stone? And then you try to take it out, and you found out that little stone was founded on a bigger one inside the ground? You could move it. Now, Jesus said, upon this rock, I will build my church. So. Which one is this rock? Christ. Christ is the rock. That's what he said. Now you go throughout the scripture, you will find that God said he is the rock. And then the Lord is called the rock. The Messiah is called the rock. Who is Christ? Christ is a Messiah. Christ is the Lord. The Lord said unto my Lord. Remember those words of the psalmist. So here he says, this rock, because Jehovah is rock. Adonai is rock. The Lord God is rock. So you read in the scripture about the rock, the rock, my rock. He's my rock, our rock. And so, when he said that to them, he wasn't confusing at all. Upon this rock, this Messiah, this Christ, not upon a revelation. And when you go into the New Testament, you would also find even Peter calls him the rock. It doesn't say a revelation. It says Christ. And the rest of us are also called what? Rocks. Living stones. That's what he calls us. 
He didn't say, he didn't call us a revelation. We are not lead to revelations or living revelations. So it's on Christ. And guess what? Christ is called the chief corner stone. That's the chief corner stone. That's the one that ties the whole building together. Upon this rock, I will build my church. He's saying, this is the cornerstone. That's what Paul called him. So all the teachings of scripture are consistent in calling Christ the rock. Not the revelation. Jesus didn't even have to say that there. He only mentioned that it's not by the flesh that you got this. It's my father that gave it to you. You didn't know this by your head. You knew it by the Spirit of God. And, and that's what Jesus wanted to get across. He wasn't trying to say, I'm going to found the church on this revelation. No, he's not found in the church on the revelation. The church is founded on Christ, the solid rock. Always remember that. So all you have to do is to read it in the full context. And you will get it. All right. Okay. Mm, let me see. I think we've done, uh, we're right at the top of the hour. So it's a good place to, to stop. You know what? We had a, a beautiful online prayer conference at the weekend. And it was very, very powerful. Hosted by the healing school and i want to show you highlights of that program right now just watch this <laughs> 